This summer, Lord Nelson has company. London's Trafalgar Square is hosting part of a collection of 21 giant sculptures inspired by the DNA double helix, the molecule that contains the instructions every living organism needs to develop, live and reproduce. Graphic artist Darren Baker was one of those invited to take part. If you look closely, there's two hands. One's a young child and one's an older, older man, and they're both kind of tucked in, so the concept there is to show humanity coming together and with that we can create a force for good and help fight diseases and help humanity as a whole. The director of design at car maker Jaguar designed one of the works entitled Colours Through Speed. And another design was created by British clothing company Ted Baker. The charity commissioned these sculptures based on the DNA double helix to raise the profile and funds for a new research institute focused on tackling the major human diseases. The $1 billion Francis Crick Institute, named after one of the scientists who discovered the structure of DNA, is due to open in London next year. So we want to bring together 1,200 of the world's very best scientists, all under one roof. And together they're going to collaborate and work together to beat not just cancer, but all major human diseases. We genuinely believe that with this culture of creativity we're going to build, that we've got a real chance of revolutionising medical science. Pilar Enrich, who was born in Mexico, had her own DNA sequenced as part of her research for the project. The idea is to create something that makes you think about art, that makes you think about science or maths. You know, it's quite mathematical in a way because of the geometry. The sculptures will be on display around central London until they're auctioned in the autumn, with the money from the sale helping to fund the next generation of medical research. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera in central London.